This conference tournament preview edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. For every twenty-five dollars you bet on college basketball, WinBet is giving you a chance to win a trip to Las Vegas for March Madness and one thousand dollars in free WinBet credits. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Stable Duel. Stable Duel is a horse racing DFS app where you can play free and paid games for real cash prizes. You can win as much as fifteen thousand dollars with one entry. Head over to StableDuel.com to get started today. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to five hundred dollars in bonus cash. Head over to PropSwap.com or download the PropSwap app today. And of course. Don't forget to download the SGPN app for all of our free picks and podcasts. Hey, this is Bill Romanowski. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks Ryan real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer? Dog. Sean, Sean. Yes. Oh, uh-huh. the marathon continues. Uh, we played a double header yesterday. I it's think only, it's only Tuesday. It's only March 1st. We're already diving in head for tons of college basketball. Sean, content. Would you say the madness has already begun? Oh yes. We got paper in front of us, brackets. If you're watching on YouTube, knee deep in brackets. Join us to talk college hoops. Colby Dant, host of the College Basketball Experience, aka the Dantabase. What's up, Colby? I mean, the madness started yesterday with Central Connecticut State and that Farley Dickinson. I'm sorry, Farley Dickinson. Uh, seven, fairly, seventeen, fairly, whatever fairly the hell. All right, Farley, se- seven, Chris Farley Dickinson. There's no I there. Uh, it's fairly. I mean, at least that's how we said it in well, Jersey. Well, they they blew a 17 point lead. Uh, Central Connecticut State grabbed a one point lead with seven seconds left. The madness was on, folks, uh, and I'm ready for more of it today. Let's go. Oh wow! I, I are you sure you're ready? I'm fucking ready. It's been a long couple months, Colby. Football, right into basketball. Let's go. You got married in there. Yeah, no was, breaks needed. Yeah, let's go. No days off. We got two conference tournaments. We're gonna break down the Big South, aka the BSC, and Ohio Valley, aka the OVC, and we got uh, at least six games to pick against the spread. We're making picks against the spread. Getting down on action, you know where we're doing it. Over at winbet.com. Or just download that win betting app. So easy to use. Bet big, win bigger. That's what they say over at WinBet. And of course, I've been touting it all month long. Every $25 you bet on college basketball gives you a chance to win a trip to Las Vegas. Watch March Madness, March 17th, March 18th, and $1,000 in free win bets. Great times over at winbet.com. Oh, man. All these odds we're about to uh, break down, giving free picks, courtesy of our good buddies over at winbet.com. And I haven't even mentioned the bet $10, win 200. Are you kidding me? So many states Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, Virginia, Louisiana, even our good buddies up in New York. Offer subject to change, terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older in present state where playthrough is available. You are somebody who knows a gambling problem. Call 1 800 522 4700. Oh man. Let's go. So much to get to. I, I mean, also this week's installment, and keep sending those in. We have a backlog <laughs> now. Uh, I don't know. It, it must just be Gen season because well, it's not sports. So we're looking at the news. The other things are popping into the Reddit filter. He, uh, new ones keep popping up. People keep sending them in. Appreciate you sending them in. We have a just a boatload of ones to get to. Uh, but this week, as always, brought to you by PropSwap.com. Promo code SGP, where you can. 
Get that instant deposit as a bonus up to five hundred dollars. Perfect place to buy and sell some of these conference tournament futures or March Madness futures. Here we go. Mm. SGPN presents Real Men of Degen. Real Men of Degen. We salute you, Caleb Rogers. That's right, Caleb Rogers. Uh, details are emerging. Um, that he was a Las Vegas uh, off-duty police officer who was robbing casinos. Bail has been set at two hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. Suspect in two other robberies at the El Ayante Casino, Red Rock mm-hmm. Resort. He's tried to steal seventy-eight thousand uh, dollars from one casino. At one point, he pushed a female sportsbook worker to the ground and threatened to shoot people during one of the crimes. Facing two counts of armed robbery, assault with a deadly weapon, and burglary. Burglary. <laughs> it's a I, tough word. Quote, I do think he's a danger based on the actions in this case. Bringing this firearm in and brandishing it multiple times, pulling out of his waistband a second time to confront a security guard. Uh, so he won't be making it to the win. Uh, for uh, hanging out no. and watching games, he's a uh, uh, home oh. modern. Seventy-eight grand. <laughs> All he had to do is listen to the Sports Gambling Podcast, uh, and he would have won two hundred grand. Let's no, go. I mean, I mean, even a more reasonable tale of maybe parlaying the first ten first half unders. Yeah, oh a thousand would have gotten you a little bit more than that. So, uh, you know, low stakes, bro. Is low he a real st- DJ? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna start with the Big South or the OVC. Let's go. Let's start you call OVC. It, Sean. All right. Or OVC it as they keep. <laughs> <laughs> that is their catchphrase. You've got to OVC it. And of course, presented by Ticket Smarter. Okay. We're going to be, uh, I think, based on the research that Colby and I did, uh, we're going to be at the Ford Center mm. in Evansville, Indiana for all of these games. Uh, what do you think? Do we do the games first or do we run through the odds? The Gerald quick? Ford Center? Why don't we why don't we uh, knock out the games first and then I think we can talk s- big picture. Sir Ger- Gerald Ford. Uh, <laughs> all right. So uh, they they have kind of a unique uh, setup. They have the the double triple buy format where uh, if you're looking at the bracket in front of you, uh, there's really only two first round matchups and then two fir- two second round matchups and then two third round matchups and then uh, two semifinals. So uh, you kind of have a filtering system. Yeah. So Murray State <laughs> and Belmont, the one and two seeds, they just have to win three games to win the uh, tournament. Exactly. So, um, no, t- sorry, two games. Two games. Yeah. They start in the semifinals. The I might have screwed that up. Does this as well? Yeah. So yeah. They, essentially, the top two seeds start in the semifinals. Two games. Oh yes. In. Never mind. You're right. Which. I like the format. It, it it gives a lot more value to the regular season, and in these types of conferences where one team is probably only going to get in, uh, you know, why not give a ton of extra value with the double or triple buy uh, in some cases? All right, so first game, four thirty on uh, Wednesday, March second. We have uh, Colby. Do do we? Is it uh, what's the SI stand for? Uh, so it's Southern Indiana University Edwardsville, okay. something like that. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah. I was just gonna say Edwardsville. Thank you for the explanation <laughs> of the acronym. Uh, they're taking on Tennessee State. Tennessee State, the five seed. They are the eight seed. Why do we not have where spreads? the where are the spreads? Uh, weren't the spreads in there? Did we did we completely screw this up, Colby? Hold no. on, efforting. Talk about these two teams, Colby. This is this is professional radio. Well, Tennessee State. Phil time. Tennessee Colby. State is a team that has been on auto fade recently. Uh, they're thirteen and seventeen, but this year that's actually good for them. So years past, they were like an auto fade every year. Tennessee State moving in the right direction. SIU Edwardsville is is complete trash. Yeah, so, I mean Tennessee State number one in the conference in free throw shooting, hitting seventy five percent of the threes. Uh, they're also good from behind the arc, thirty-five percent from the three-point and offensive rebounding. They're getting o- offensive rebounds on thirty percent of the possessions. To me, that you know, you get a team that shoots well from the line behind the arc and gets you offensive rebounds. Tennessee State minus two 
shot. I mean, look, I think I think that's a lock. You know, oh, yeah, and you know their football coaches. It's, it's Eddie George. Remember Eddie George, oh, really? the old Tennessee Titan. And I apologize. Yeah. I'm I'm actually uh, rehydrating with up to date spreads. Okay, minus so three. Tennessee State minus three. It is in a neutral uh, site, but I'm I'm all over Tennessee well, State. I mean, you look at SAU Edwardsville. I mean, it's it's they're okay offensive rebounding. Um, I don't know. You know, one of their best players, Rayshon Taylor, he got hurt. Uh, he was averaging 17.6 points per game, five rebounds per game. A fellow freshman to Juwan Pruitt has kind of been taken over. I think SAU Edwardsville could maybe the OVC, they're one year away, the, but uh, this year, suck. Tennessee State. Let's call um, it, let's call it. I mean, look, well, they, yeah, I mean, SAUE is 200 to one to win it all. Uh, Tennessee State is only sixty to one, and and they just played on February seventeenth. Tennessee State won by sixteen. That's why I'm surprised at this line a little bit. Uh oh, are Sur- you saying surprised it at this line a little oh, bit? No. Well, Colby, you OVC it uh, yeah. to believe it because <laughs> they're expecting a bounce back opportunity for SIUE. I I still don't see it. Tennessee State is just a much better team. They Ooh, are, and, and when you look at the stats for for SIU, they're in like the three hundreds for almost every category. So that's you, why you take Tennessee State. You trust one of the what worst, you've seen. Yeah, one of the worst three-point shooting teams in the nation. Uh, one of the worst teams in terms of taking care of the ball. Uh, a number of factors here. You like that uh, Tennessee State can hit, uh, shoot a three-pointer when they need to hit the offensive glass. A couple positive kind of matchups for them. And honestly, it, it does seem like they maybe could even turn over this uh, Edwardsville team because uh, again, we're talking about two shit teams, but we're gonna so we're gonna take the favorite. Roll yeah, with it. I actually think this is lock potential. Our strategy of chalky, uh, just l- s- these minor conference chalk seem. I'm I'm hoping it goes well. We'll find out to the later today. It, it's lock potential here. Tennessee Tech is a two point favorite, seven seed against Austin P. Uh, Tennessee Tech, of course, one hundred to one to win it all. Austin P. Also. One hundred right. and one to win it all. I thought those were your boys, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I, the I, had, I I have my Austin P jersey in there <laughs> somewhere. Why are you not wearing it today? How dare you? Uh, they they got a couple of good freshmen. Uh, freshman Austin P as well. Fourth in the OFC in defensive efficiency, but ninth in offensive efficiency. Tennessee Tech, uh, not very good defensively. Ninth in the OVC. Fifty eight percent of their points come from inside the arc. They're led by uh, guard uh, Junior Clay, who averages thirteen and three and four essentially. I don't know, man. This is a uh, this is a pretty much a toss up. I'm leaning Austin P and the free points. Are we, what are you what are you doing here? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna Real go Tennessee poo-fest. Tech. They just played once again recently. Tennessee Tech won that game. It's I a mean, story of uh, pace. actually, actually, you know what? You know what? Oh no! It's a first-year coach, Tim James, former oh, no. Duke Blue Devil, mm. for your governors, uh, or Nate James, I believe. Um, Tim James is from Miami. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with your governors. I think they they're five and five in their last ten, so they they seem to be somewhat what? heading in the right did, direction. Small dogs. Did Colby just flip it around? I yes. did. Well, when I looked at SIU's uh, you know recent performances, uh, not SIU. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Tennessee Tennessee Tech. Tech. Uh, I think Austin P is the better team. They get it done. One Revenge. Of Tennessee Tech, one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the nation. Both of these teams are god awful. But I think in this matchup, we're not going to be chalky. Um, yeah, let's go, Governors. Governors. The Governors. All right, so we're all on. Uh- <laughs> I'm so glad we got to talk about these games. Colby has to be so happy right now. It's just great. I mean, look, you you gotta love uh, the conference tournament. Look, March Madness starts now. People say, "Oh, you love the NCAA tournament." It's great and everything, but it starts. It started yesterday. Well, and before we uh, move on to to look at the futures, Colby is my dad. Four twenty has dropping re- the super has, chat has requested has requested a live stream bonus lock for Tuesday night. Doesn't have time to listen at work. Doesn't have time to listen to the best show on the network, which can I you, assume. Can you give me the the your your work phone number? I'd love to call your boss. Oh no! Oh yeah, no! Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we got to make up the fake uh, March Madness notes as well. Yeah. Uh, top lock today. Let's just go through. I, I still, well, I don't know. This line jumped a little bit on the Kansas uh, at TCU, but let's oh. go Montana State at home <laughs> in Bozeman, minus three and a half against Southern Utah. Big sky action. Okay. Lock that, it up. That's that's the kind of treatment you only get in the 
youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. All right, future Sean. Lay it on me. All right. So we we talked basically about the bottom half of the conference. Uh, Edwardsville, two hundred to one, Tennessee Tech, one hundred to one with Austin P. Tennessee State sixty to one. <clears throat> They all suck. Uh, Missouri State or Southeast Missouri State, they're twenty-five to one. Moorhead State, ten to one. Belmont plus two twenty, and Murray State minus one eighty-five. Kind of indicating a two-horse race. Also, just three the, three horse race. Well, well unless yeah. game just the yeah. implied of uh, of not having to play that extra game. Uh, so if you do think there's a three horse race, even with the extra gra- game, I would say Moorhead State probably has a little bit of value. Uh, but you also got to wonder what kind of dog would they be against Mel Belmont and Murray State back to back games to have to beat well, both those teams? Does feel like a mechanical parlay well, look, situation might be better for Morehead State. Morehead State, like they let Murray State off the hook last time they played them. They were up by like ten with like two minutes left and lost. They are capable, and I think the the, the value here you can't take Murray State because they, look they're in even if they mm. lose. Oh. Even if they lose, so, I think Murray, well, Murray State's State going to get in. Is like almost a legit good team, like twenty seventh in the country in defensive. Don't, don't say almost in front 13th of thirteenth in the country in offensive. How dare you say that about rebounding my rebounding percentage? I think they're. Are, what are they going to be? Like a fifteen seed? No, they're going to be higher, dude. They're in the top twenty five. Yeah. They're, Hold they're, on, I I just closed this. Their day. opponent three point percentage below thirty percent. They're going to be a lot higher. They're going to be Murray like, State yeah. is currently an eight seed. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You got to watch out. You see what John Moran did the other day. All right. That's, that's, uh, that's I mean, getting it done there. Murray state can do that all day. Uh, look, Belmont, I think is your value play mm. because Belmont, how many times do we see this? I feel like every year we've done this Ted guys, shepherd, they are filling it up 16 and four. Yeah. And they got Nick Mosolinski. All right. And according to bracket matrix, Belmont as is right now is in the same range as Dayton, Virginia tech and St. Bonaventure in terms of like last eight out. So uh, again, citing bracket matrix, but I mean the Belmont, Belmont also <laughs> most, uh, most steals, uh, more steals than anyone in the OVC and they take care of the ball better. Than anyone in the OVC. So if we're looking for mm. you're playing a, a team you know because it's a conference tournament, you can get the turnovers, you can prevent turnovers, and you're getting uh, plus odds at plus two twenty. Colby, you've convinced me. Give me Belmont plus two twenty, and then your dog wow. I think should be Morehead because I, I actually think you're a fool if you're taking anything besides the top three. So you're I don't going- I don't think it's possible like really? in the other conferences. Yes, I think you could see you know Holy Cross make a run or something. This I don't I don't see any of them being able to. So hang. you're going Belmont uh, plus two twenty, Morehead State plus a thousand. Correct. Am I crazy? Mm. Now Morehead State is coming out of the um, same uh, side of the bracket as Belmont, so in, in a way you're just ha- you should be either sitting on a plus two twenty or a plus one thousand bet against uh, most likely Murray State. So I don't mind that strategy. What if I throw in Tennessee State at sixty to one? Am I s- insane, Colby? I, I mean, I think you're throwing away money. All I right. don't think they could. I don't think hey, they can play. Just, just more red state yeah. it is. Real quick, Ten to one. have you guys like looked at how badly Murray State has beaten the shit out of this conference? With the exception to Moorhead and Belmont, that's what I'm saying. Like this they conference just is beat, really bad. They just after, beat Belmont by 33. I know, points. but they should have <laughs> lost to Moorhead State. You see that game right there? That's the game they actually should have okay, lost that all right, game. All right, I, I'm just. You guys are crazy. Minus 185. It's a discount. All Chalky. Right. I love being chalky. This, 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 this Brian, shit. do you even bother giving out another play? No, I know you like multiple plays. I, I'm just looking at these scores. Like they're, they're they're beating teams in their conference by 40 points, Sean. Yeah. I, all good. right. They're it's good. cute. You guys can have fun with a cute pick, but no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank. You. Hard to beat a team three times. You know, in this case, I'm going to take my three percent, Sean. All right, we got the Big South preview coming up. Before we get to that, make sure we get the shout out stableduel.com, horse racing DFS, and breaking news. Day at the races live on our YouTube channel. Yeah. We'll be doing a pregame show uh, with the big race coming up this Saturday. We'll be, of course, joined by the great oh. uh, Malcolm Bamford, aka horse racing insider, aka horse racing expert. Mm. And there is a, they're calling it fountain of funds. That's right, twenty five thousand dollar guaranteed prize pool. All you, you fire up the stable duel app, 
play, race, win, sableduel.com. Tune in Saturday morning, 8 30 Pacific, 11 30 AM West Coast. Perfect time. Get a little uh, DJ in action before before college basketball starts going hard and heavy on Saturday. What a better way to, to spend a Saturday hanging out with us, talking ponies. <clears throat> Excuse me, over at stableduel.com. I'll see you in the winner's circle. Sableduel.com. It's my favorite part. Well, you got, you know gotta make part. the audience. I'm still involved. wondering if, if that's a <laughs> consensus or not. I could see, I could see him, you know, running for governor at some point. All you right, know? Sean, are you ready yes. to talk Big South basketball? Oh, got a ton of notes on Big South. Let's go. Uh, of course, we will be playing uh, presented by Hercules Tires. Uh, we're playing in Charlotte, Sean, at the Bojangles Coliseum. Making what's me your, hungry. What's your favorite item on the Bojangles menu? Uh. I mean, they're. Ch- I feel like they're chicken salad. Yeah, and probably know, uh, chicken sandwich. Maybe a little spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some. Or you like just bone in fried chicken. Uh, I'm a simple man. Give maybe. me the bone in fried chicken. Yeah. All right. All, I, I like the salads. All the fixing. Yeah, yeah. Get, you got you got, <laughs> the, soy, over you got here. the soy chicken at the at the Big South uh, tourney. The best. Oh right. uh, yeah, go go. Uh, you yeah. want me to go? March second. Uh, we're tipping off on Wednesday. Uh, the rest of the tourney will commence commence on Friday. Top four seeds all get a buy. Uh, remaining eight, they're playing first round action. Eight thirty a.m. tomorrow. Wow! How, how great is that? Let's go. We, we got a good reason to wake up. North Watch Carolina A and T against Radford. The whores of Radford are back <laughs> against Terrell Furman's boys. North Carolina A and T. Yeah, we we got um. I don't know. This, this uh North this, Carolina this, A&T uh, is the best offensive rebounding team in the Big South. Again, one in doubt, aka I don't know a ton about either teams. Go with the team that's getting uh, that offensive rebounding. Those extra shots, it makes a difference. Uh and Radford, not one player averaging more than 10 points per game. It's it, that's what that's what you like about it, all right? They probably run a four corners offense shot. They're 14th now, uh, in the nation in bench minutes, <laughs> which is a real I guess everyone gets to play is there like a participation <laughs> trophy uh that Radford gets it, mm. or is it like right, you know, back when I was in little league, every player had to play two innings and get one at minimum bat. requirement. Yeah. No, uh, similar thing going on at Radford. Will NCA the whole- and T, the fact that they and the the spread just popped up here. NCA and T is a as a one point dog. Yes, please. Here's here's why you you don't want that. They just played. They just played and <laughs> they've lost four in a row. They're due. Uh, meanwhile, Radford kind of kind of coming on a little bit down the stretch here. They were just uh, what six and eleven. And without the help of the whores of the whores, they went to the road and they took down uh, one by North nine. North Carolina A and T. One by yeah, nine. Sixty two fifty three. So. I mean, easy to say, let's run it back, but let let's run it back. Uh, I think, you know, these neutral site get ups, they're all probably staying in the same hotels. So if I'm Radford, I bring the, you know, the extra squad, bring the whores with, with me, <laughs> yes. uh, create a little disruption with the other teams. Easy one here. Lay the points. Or take the points, lay the points. Lay the points. Lay oh, the points. Sean took a small dog, huh? That's yes. not, yeah. that's, let's that's go. not like him. This, uh, I feel like my love of this sound effect is impacting my handicap. <laughs> so just got to hear that small dog. It, NCA and T though, this is just a classic uh, revenge spot, get up spot for the A uh, and T's. Do they call themselves the Aggies? A&T? The Aggies, buddy. No, they prefer A and T's. <laughs> North uh, didn't uh, didn't one year he say it as North Carolina AT and T. I don't even. <laughs> and this and I and I. Can you uh, hear me now? Again, <laughs> some, something we had. Uh, we must have had a serious uh, sheet catastrophe because this game tips at eight thirty in the morning. Yeah, right? maybe we should have yeah. gone here first. But Sean wanted to go Ohio Valley Conference, Charleston Southern, at, twelve seed. And uh, this, was is there more you s- this is at eleven a.m. This is at eleven a.m. Thank, thanks. Yeah. I'll, I'll update it. Don't worry. Eleven a.m. Charleston Southern. Taking on Asheville. Construction going on the spreadsheet. Right <laughs> Taking on Asheville. The 12 seed takes on the five. We see a five seed laying 10 and a half. It's a lot for a five seed. Yeah, I mean, not, not in one of these tournaments because the 12 seed's the lowest seed. This is this is the worst team in the conference by a million. Yeah. Bottom in offensive and defensive efficiency. Uh UNC Asheville actually, you know, they they kind of hit the charts with some, you know. 
some stuff nationally, fifth nationally in opponents three point percentage. So not only is Charleston Southern inefficient, but they're playing against a very good three point defense. Well, um, it's look. a bad yeah. I mean, this big South conference. I know she, I know Colby's a big fan. Uh, it's just it's this is the least trash conference we've done so far, right? No, the least trash. I uh, mean, not not to be offensive towards the conference, but. Ohio Valley, maybe two teams are in, but this is another one teamer, right? Yes, this is a one teamer for sure, but it's still good basketball, guys. All right. And uh, yeah, UNC Asheville's laying what, 10 and a half? Can't make this number big enough. And uh, shout out to uh, the Slack channel that <laughs> alerted us of the Oakland IUPUI game, where apparently, uh, and breaking news here, IUPUI only has five guys dressed for yeah. the game. Place uh, your bets, please. If one guy fouls out, they could be playing with four here's, guys. Here's what I don't get. They had to have gone. They look at every university. There's out, rec, right? there's like rec <laughs> league teams, right? I mean, couldn't they just go get a couple of guys down at the at mess team? hall? You know. Well, isn't this like uh, who was the coach last year that was like a grad assistant and then just became a player at Jackson State? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No I one remember him. Snacks. No, His name was Snacks. Yeah, come yeah. on. No one. No, like who's the equipment man? Yeah. You don't think that guy's? Yeah. I'm sure they got something. Coach, got coach a little got cardio. something dialed up, but uh, definitely I think we should fade them. Either way, it's fun. I got definitely got down on that Oakland game. So I'm on UNC uh, Asheville again. I am too. Charlotte is not far from Asheville, North Carolina. So that look, they got a little bit of a home court advantage there. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and they're a pretty solid team too. I feel like they've been getting better and better over the a, past couple years. They have a couple years. of the better players in the con. I mean, th- there's just a lot of reasons to like them in this matchup. Again, ch- chalk's the way to go in this stuff. Don't get cute. Uh, 3 PM Tuesday or Wednesday, March 2nd, Hampton, little seven, five, seven action uh, taken on high point, the 10 seed Hampton against the seven seed high point, high point lay in six Colby. Tubby Smith, uh, you know, he, uh, he was the, the head coach of high point. He went to high point. He was coming home and then he just resigned to cut like about what two happened? weeks ago, gave the duties to his son. He said it was getting too much for him. I know too he was outspoken. He was outspoken on the transfer portal was not a big fan of the transfer portal. Get off Poor my tubby. lawn. Poor tubby. Uh, meanwhile, Hampton traditionally a solid team this year though. Obviously they've had their issues. I think we ride high point though. Minus the six because I'm all, I'm all over Hampton. First wow. off, you got senior uh, Najee Garvin. I think he's going to get up for this game. Uh, leading the team in rebounds and points, fifteen and six. He's a tough guard at six foot eight. And really, again, this four to seven range is favorites. I don't like doing it if you can't hit your free throws. High point only shoots sixty five percent from the line. <laughs> I see the handicap as why high point gets the win or or is, is the better team. But I, I'm going Hampton in the points. Uh, you know, if I'm laying six, you got to be able to hit your free throws. I'm all chalk when it comes to uh, the Big South first round. Yeah, uh, high oh, come point, on, high you just point, tipped your they, pick for they, Presbyterian Campbell. <laughs> People are gonna tune out, Colby. That's where they make the soup, Sean. Uh, look, they, they uh, just played just like the last yes, matchup. Yes, eleven by point, eleven. Yeah, uh, Hampton. This is a, and, loss. Uh, and are, are you making a case now for Hampton? They lost by eleven in a meaningless regular season game. Their season was over. Now it's the conference tournament. Something to shine for. A chance at the big dance, Ryan. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, Ten seed in this conference. Maybe they're just done. So I'll, I'll be. I'm with Colby. Let's stay chalky. You got. You guys. Chalk it up. You're chalk just gonna have no dogs. Up. Chalk it up. <laughs> I have a dog. How'd you get into betting on the Big South? <laughs> Presbyterian Campbell, eleven seed taken on the six seed. Campbell laying three and a half. Pretty the short Campbell spread. Campbell's, right. Uh, Five thirty yes. is the tip for this one. Yeah, uh, you gotta love the Campbell Camels. I mean. This is a program I think with the it's been heading in the right direction for a while. Campbell, a team uh, you know, close to my own heart here. 345th nationally in average height at 75 <laughs> and a half inches. Uh they take care of the basketball. The issue and and they're 17th in experience. So I would look towards that what I what I don't <laughs> like and I'm trying not to do that. What I what I don't like is Presbyterian is really good. <laughs> With the offensive rebounds at forty-one percent. Well, 
I'm going to trust the team with NBA pedigree. Yep. All right. Cedric Henderson Jr., his dad uh, was, was an N- NBA player with the what? The Cavs, the Warriors. Um, uh, this is a guy that went to Memphis, was a baller there. So, it, look, it, it, Campbell has a good athletic program. They just had a top 80 recruiting class in football. They got the things going right it, I down like there. I the experience, too. Give, give me Campbell all day. This is lock potential. Yeah, I'm with you. Campbell minus three and a half. The offensive rebounding. We're getting advantage. into March, guys. You want your dogs to be able to hit a three pointer. Presbyterian, second to last in the nation at three point efficiency, according to Ken Palm. Only South Florida is worse. Yeah, come on. We're I, all chalk. Yeah, I, chalk it up. Where will I find my dog? <laughs> Chalk it up. Yeah, all day Ryan's here. Ryan has not been right. to talk except Austin P plus two. So we talked. Let's about, talk about the Big South Conference odds. We talked about the bottom eight seeds. So you got Charleston Southern and Hampton at two hundred to one. Presbyterian sixty to one. Uh, North Carolina A and T forty to one. Radford thirty to one. Hmm. Twenty five to one for South, uh, South Carolina Upstate High Point twenty to one. That one. UNC Asheville twelve to one. Campbell ten to one. Five to one for Gardner Webb, Winthrop plus two twenty five, and Longwood, uh, low key horse scene at Longwood too. It's kind of like a lower rent Radford. Hmm. Uh, used to fuck him up in rugby. Longwood. If you haven't watched this year, the Big South Longwood ha- has had a great year, a crazy season though. From like th- they have the one seed locked up by yeah. far, but man, do they play close games? Like they have a lot of close games. So you wonder if regression it, machine. Yeah, if there's say. value uh, in all these other teams from from a value perspective. Uh, boy, it, it does seem odd that South Carolina Upstate would be at twenty five to one, uh, with behind teams that have to play an additional game. Uh, I guess I understand in Asheville because they're such heavy favorites, but to be half the odds uh, of uh, of South Carolina Upstate that that doesn't seem to make sense. So I mean, do we just start there and say we got almost out of principle? You take South Carolina Upstate. I, I like they, them. I thought they've been getting better all year. Well, uh, well, look at it. The other teams that are starting with, that have the buy are two to one, plus two twenty five, and five to one. They're twenty five to one. Yeah, you got to start there. Team, I and um, I don't know. Co-sign you, Sean, all three of us. Yeah, just from like a just blind gonna, math yeah. perspective, and they're they're a good three point shooting team, fifty well, fifth in the nation. Let me ask you this: If nothing happens and we play the first round, will their odds be better than twenty five to one? Yeah, you could go to <laughs> propswap.com because teams will get eliminated. There may <laughs> even be somewhat of an upset. Uh, one team, I'm all over here. At plus five hundred, and shout out to our intern uh, Michael Moore for a uh, doing a great job collecting these notes, but also turning me on to Gardner Webb in their case for making a run here at five to one. They're eighth nationally in opponents' three point percentage at mm. twenty eight and a half. They're also mm. they're also fifty six in the country in defensive efficiency. They got a really nice a uh, backcourt duo, Cute. each averaging fourteen points per game. But really, you look at Longwood and Winthrop. A lot of their game. Longwood 17th in the nation in threes. Uh Winthrop uh 23rd in three point percentage. And you look at w- what's the formula for an upset? It's a team that plays good defense yep. and the other better team isn't hitting their shots. <laughs> so now you you have a, a team that's good at defending the threes, plays efficient defense and you're getting them at 5 to 1. Let's fucking go. I'm on board with you, man. Give me that bark sound of the small dog. No, it's five to one. That's a All big right. dog. But they're the running bulldogs, Sean. The okay. running bulldogs. That's the nickname for Gardner <laughs> Webb. Uh, shout out to Eddie Lee Wilkes, one of their. So you're, you're on Gardner Webb at plus five hundred. Are we all? I like the Gardner Webb angle. Officially, well. all on South Carolina Upstate at twenty five. I think to one. so. I think we're going chalk here. Well, <laughs> I don't wait. South Carolina Upstate's not chalk. Chalk no, is we're, Longwood we're, or Winthrop. We're yeah. agreeing. I don't think, and I don't think we're wrong. I mean, I, I it, the the odds play on South Carolina makes sense. Gardner Webb has the profile as you you describe as a team that can go on a run. Also, for us, other side of the bracket. So we've we've divvied up. We we have a, a five to one and a twenty five to one. On what, the, do what? we add anything to the portfolio? Yes, yes we add high point. <laughs> oh. They just had a coaching change. Young, new life, you know. Uh, why not sprinkle a little bit on the, on high point to get there as well? Uh, I don't mm. have high point getting out of the. Do first it for round. Tubby. I don't have a high point getting out of the first round, so I can't co-sign that. 
Hampton's going to Hampton's getting the outright. I don't know if I like that one either. I mean, look, high level there, there's one team that plays any defense and that's Gardner Webb and there's there's only a couple teams that really ha- have like efficient offenses and and then the top seeds. So, uh having no exposure to a top seed feels scary, but I I'm I'll I'll hold I'm just holding serve with Gardner Webb. Well, you want really Carolina. chalk with Murray State, so there you go. You can feel better about <laughs> Balance that. Balance out your chalk. Yeah. Better winners are winners. Winners are winners, Colby. <laughs> winners are winners. And we should really quick stop the sh- breaking news. Cause I, I see uh I see old Dick in the chat is a little confused. Dick Kurtzberg. We definitely Whoa. do not want to take Gosh. IUPUI. Sources close to the situation reporting they only have five players suiting up tonight. So we're gonna lay the points. Th- th- what do you yeah. lay it up to? Uh, do you lay thirty? No. Tw- twenty nine and it. a half? Yeah. Okay. Colby lays it up to twenty nine and a half. Do with that with what you will. All right. What else do we? What or, else? We or got? they went outright. Take do, a little on the yeah, money. Yeah, exactly. To hedge on the money line <laughs> if there's like a Disney like story. But really, it would just be them getting one round in a conference tournament because then they're going to get destroyed. If they stay out of foul trouble, why not? Right. Mm, I, I have a feeling. <laughs> no, it's I'm, on, go I'm on Oakland. Yeah. Twenty. Is there a, yeah. What happens if what, there is foul trouble? Five thousand college what basketball happens guys. If they forfeit. Well, they're, they're, no, you wouldn't forfeit. You just play with four guys, right? Eventually, there's probably a rule like you have to have at least four. Why? It's it's not not healthy for the game. People well, might if get you, injured if the game doesn't go. This isn't girls soccer. If right? the game doesn't go all the way to the end, I've played full games with four guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like, what if they get down to three? Like, will the game cancel? They'll stop, they'll stop fouling and after they, they get down to four. <laughs> they're not contesting a lot of shots with four guys. All right. So uh, what are we locking up? Joe, I love how our listeners have an answer. Joe Newenfeld pointing out you can't play with three. Um, See, so oh, it's a joke when out. I say it. What when, movie is that? It's like my, my team's on the court. It's Hoosiers, it. right? My team's on the court. He has only four guys. It's like my team's on the court. Play, let's go. All right, time to close it out. Happy lock, dog, and bonus lock. Let's uh, lock it up here, Kramer. What's your first lock? One from each conference and All a right, dog. So, uh, Kramer, you're going to struggle here. What do you mean I'm going to struggle? <laughs> I don't have here? a dog in there. Just watch and fucking learn. First up, the horse travel well. Radford gets the win. Uh, okay. Back to back wins over North Carolina A and T. For my lock in the o Valley, Ohio Valley uh, conference, uh, the way I OV see it. See what I did there, <laughs> yeah. Sean? Give me Tennessee State minus three. Uh, Sui, uh, they're getting rolled. Chalky, <laughs> chalky in the first round. And for my dog, uh, you know, Sean, I could go conventional. You could here. parlay uh, a couple of uh, <laughs> favorites here and, and give a money line, or you can take Austin P. I'll, I'll take Austin P. If you want to give me the governors, small dog catching two on the I, money line. I don't appreciate the small dog <laughs> sound effect. I uh, didn't have many options. I was thinking of going Gardner Webb. Mm, hmm. You know. But I already, get, you know, whatever. Austin P. Give me the governess. For me, lock UNC Asheville laying ten and a half. Charleston Southern doesn't belong in this tournament. Uh, for my lock <laughs> in the OVC at uh, Tennessee State minus three. Although, you know, don't hate on my governors. I, I I don't mind Kramer's money lo- dog play, but give me the big dog Hampton. Those kids are athletes. They're gonna come out with a victory. What Hampton are the, on the money line? What are the village Highpoint. people up to? They could they could be part behind the OVC at promotion. I you know there's something there. <laughs> no, I like Colby it. I like it. it. Yeah, it, it um, would fit in Ohio. The Midwestern people <laughs> would love it. Lock up the the soup, Campbell's chunky noodle. Let's wow. do that. Minus three and a half against Let's Presbyterian. And then Tennessee State as the as the lock in what could go wrong. Yes, uh, and then for for a dog play. Look, I'm not gonna go with the governors. Let's uh, let's let's parlay some some fun here. Okay. Uh, let's let's, see. let's ride with. Uh, I'm gonna go Campbell again. Campbell Radford. Wow. Colby, you're not. Supposed and to- <laughs> high point. All uh all big spreads. South special. So three team parlay on Campbell Radford and High Point. All laying the points. You know correct? how much you know how much bojangles you can buy with that, Sean? Uh, a ton. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they, you don't you won't need to rob casinos. You can legally rob casinos with our college basketball picks. You can get in the <laughs> app. You can subscribe to the daily college basketball picks pod, aka the college basketball experience. We're going to be getting you covered with, of course, uh, conference tournament previews, preview, and all the conference tournaments as we make our way into March. 
Madness. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Make sure you check us out, 8 30 on the West Coast, 11 30 uh, AM Saturday. Stable Dual Races live <laughs> race stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Chat wants to know if we like Toledo on the money line. I do. Kramer, let it ride.